The job of most garden ornaments is to be, well, ornamental. But every now and then, one is called upon to perform a great service for mankind. This gnome is at the forefront of telling us about the Earth. Meet Kern. He's an ordinary plastic garden gnome with a very unusual job. Kern travels the world testing one of the most important ideas in all of science. He's crossed all seven continents and got more air miles than an international businessman. Kern's job is a little different, though. Wherever he goes, the same thing happens. He gets weighed. In Mexico City, he weighs 10.85 ounces. But bizarrely in Mumbai, a bit less. And in London, he's even heavier. Although his waistline never increases, Kern can't seem to keep his weight under control. Dr. Andrew Ponson, professor of physics from Cambridge University, is one of Kern's traveling companions. His job is to listen to what Kern is telling us. This gnome might look like it's just an ordinary garden gnome, but actually it's an important experiment that's telling us how gravity changes as we move from location to location. Gravity is a natural phenomenon which gives weight to objects and causes them to fall when dropped. Every planetary body, including the Earth, is surrounded by its own gravitational field, which emanates from the core. Kern's globetrotting has revealed some surprising results. He is heavier when he is near the North and South Poles, and lighter when he is near the equator. This all makes sense to Dr. Ponson. If you take a look at what happens when something's spinning, if you imagine that you were standing on the equator of, of this globe, then you'd be kind of thrown off it in the same way that if uh, this car goes around a corner, then we kind of all get thrown to one side. And that effect of being thrown off should mean that you weigh slightly less than you do if you're standing up at the poles. But what's harder to understand is why there are some random pockets of unexplained and uneven weight gain that don't seem to follow any pattern. If the world was a perfect sphere, gravity should exert the same force around all points of the Earth that are equal distance from the center. So is Kern actually telling us something very surprising about the shape of the Earth? <laughs> 